After running a real-time PCR experiment, the next step is to analyze your data. But there are a lot of different ways to do that. So today, we're going to walk through the various ways you can analyze your data using CFX Manager software. After launching CFX Manager, navigate to Data Analysis by clicking Analyze and selecting your file. Here, you can see many different tabs available for analysis. To get started, click Gene Expression. Within the Gene Expression tab, you have several options to help with data interpretation. First, you see a bar chart illustrating your data and the associated spreadsheet with the raw data. There are also several other views available on the left side menu. Within the bar chart, the relative expression of targets is represented with two viewing options, which are found under Mode. Delta CQ is the relative quantity of your gene of interest in a sample relative to a control sample. And Delta Delta CQ is the relative normalized expression calculated using control samples and reference targets. The bar charts are a great way to visualize relative expression per gene in your experiment. Note that positioning your mouse over any individual bar will highlight that row in the attached spreadsheet. The same goes for all the tabs in the gene expression view. The next tab in the vertical menu displays a cluster gram, which shows data in a hierarchy based on the degree of similarity in expression of the different targets, genes, or samples. Samples that have a higher normalized expression are shown in red, and those with lower normalized expression are shown in green. Those with no expression change are shown in black. Samples with no value calculated are shown in black with an X. The lighter the color of the box, the greater the relative expression difference. One nice feature is that you can change the color scheme, if you wish, by right-clicking any box and selecting Color Scheme. The third tab, the Scatter Plot, shows the relative normalized expression, or the Delta Delta CQ, of targets for a controlled versus experimental sample. The lines indicate the regulation threshold and can be changed by dragging. Regulation is a measure of the increase or decrease of the relative normalized expression. As with the clustergram, high expression change is in red, low expression change is in green, and no change in expression is in black. Next, the volcano plot shows the change in relative normalized expression of a target for an experimental sample to a control and indicates the degree of significance using p-values. The p-value is calculated using any replicates that have the same target and sample names. The smaller the p-value, the more confidence you can have in your data. As with the scatter plot, the threshold lines can be changed by dragging them. The heat map presents a visualization of the regulation of relative normalized expression based on your particular plate setup. As with the cluster gram, high expression change is in red, low expression change is in green, and no change in expression is in black. Samples with no value calculated are shown in black with an X. The last tab is a summary spreadsheet with all the results indicated. For details on how to carry out the calculations, refer to the Gene Expression Calculations section in the CFX Instruction Manual, which can be downloaded by searching for Bulletin 100-21337 on biorad.com. You should now be able to better analyze your gene expression data using CFX Manager. We hope this helps, but if at any time you need help with any of your BioRad products, please email us at support at BioRad.com. <laughs>